Hi, my name is Thomas Foster and that's another episode of a multi-part tutorial about Logic Pro 10.5. In this episode, we take a look at the MIDI effects, the Apeciator, the Chord Trigger, the Transposer and all the other MIDI effects. So have fun. What is a MIDI effect? Let's take a look. I have here a simple phrase. And here is my sound coming from the Retro Synth. And here I have a free MIDI FX slot. And I load in the slot the transposer. And now we transpose everything a semitone up. Or a whole octave. Up or down. So what we are changing is not the sound, we are changing the notes that are going from our timeline or our live mode here into the plugin. And for example, we can change the note, how high the notes are. We also can change the velocity. For example, with this tool here called the velocity, I can make the velocity much louder or bring it down. So we are changing the notes. And one of the most interesting parts to change the notes is the arpeggiator. For this we have here some simple chords. I have here two chords. Let's listen to this. Okay, two chords playing in a loop. And now we turn on the arpeggiator. Here we go. So it plays these three notes, it plays these three notes in 16th. So, but we can change the rate, we can make it slower, now it's a quarter, or we can make it faster, 32s, and even triples and dots. We can add another octave. We can ask it to go down, up and down, or in a special way coming from outside to inside in a random order. And that's in the order how we played it, right? And we can go here to grid to give it a special timing. For example, I could say here with a special velocity, let's do it like this. And I can set here these three notes, then I have here all three notes at the same time. We also have here some presets uh, that we can go through. There's a lot of fun you can have. There's the latch mode, so you can simply press one chord, click latch, and then it holds the chord for you. And here are some different modes how you can stop it again. Yeah. There are some options like you can change the node length, you can add some random to the node length, you can change the velocity to a fixed velocity like AT. Let's listen to this. Or a middle thing between AT and what you have done here in this pattern. You can add some random. You can add some swing. And you can also add here a split key where you can add some special notes to turn on ledge, turn off ledge or do some other funny, funny stuff. But it's easy to play around with it and have fun. Let's go to the next MIDI effect the chord trigger. Here we have two modes, the single mode and the multi mode. In the single mode I have one chord, in this case it's a minor chord and I simply click on one key 
and it always plays a whole chord for me. You can teach it another chord. Let's make it a sus chord. So with the seven. All right, I teached it and now I just play one note like you see it here. And for me, it makes four notes. Sometimes you want to have on every key a different note. For this, you go to multi learn. And now you say, if I press C, if I press this three here, I want to have a major chord. On the D, I want to have a minor chord. Also on the E, on the F, I want to have a major chord. On the G, I want to have a major sept chord. On the A, I want to have this kind of chord. And here I want to have this kind of chord. All right, and now we teached it and we forgot to teach something on the A, but you get the idea, right? The modifier, very funny. You can say uh, incoming event should control another outgoing event. For example, the velocity should control the pitch band. So let's go to zero, then the nothing is happening. I press one, just one note. And now let's add the pitch band. The more velocity I give, the more it controls the pitch band, the higher gets the note. You can do very funny things. Also, the modulator is doing something like this. You can control a controller like the pitch band. Let's take the pitch band because you immediately hear what is happening. And with this LFO. Again, I press just one note. Let's make it a little slower. Let's bring it down a little bit, the amount. Or you could use an envelope to control the pitch band. Yeah. Funny things. Can be very creative. The note repeater is like a delay. You can here set here some repeatings. Now press the note one time, but you hear a second note. And you can make this note higher. Uh, you hear this more when I make more repeatings. Let's make it faster. And you can bring down the velocity. Let's make it octaves. 12 is an octave. There are funny things you can do. And we have the randomizer. So uh, let's change the note number. Now we hear total crazy notes. Let's reduce it a little bit here with this one here. We say just uh, two octaves. We want to randomize it. But you can set it a little higher or lower. Or we can change the velocity. I always play the same velocity. But the MIDI effect is controlling the velocity now. Let's go to the next one. The scripter is a little bit complicated. You can create some script, but this is more kind of program language. Um, and it, maybe it's a little bit too much for this tutorial. So let's continue with the transposer. The simplest thing I can do is I can transpose everything one note up or one octave up. Tref semitones is always an octave. Or you can transpose it down. Or you can say, please just play the white keys. So if I play now this note, you don't hear it. 
Yeah, and you can set it to a D major scale, for example. It doesn't matter what I play, we always hear notes of D major. All right, and there is the velocity processor. Um, you can set a threshold, like at the compressor, and say divide everything that is on top of this threshold with, for example, four. And then you can, with the makeup, set everything. To, so now we reduced everything to be just loud notes. I play very soft on the keyboard but we hear it like this. Or you can bring it down. I just want to hear, doesn't matter how strong I play, I just want to hear very soft notes. Yeah, in every preset for sure, you uh, in every plug-in, in every MIDI effect for sure, you have some uh, effects like, some presets like make it louder. So this was a very fast walkthrough, but now we want to have fun. So I have here a pattern of four notes playing simply just one note. Next thing we do is we add the chord trigger. All right. Next thing is the appreciator. Uh -huh. Let's make it three octaves, some variation, up and down. Let's start the grid. I like that. All right, let's add a little uh, note repeater. Going up an octave, but we need to reduce the velocity and make it faster. I like that. Let's add a little reverb. And a little bit more delay maybe. And again, see what we've done. Let's stop the, everything we did. <laughs> That's where we're coming from. So I like this sound here. My name is Thomas Foster and this is my YouTube or Facebook channel Thomas Foster Music Production, which is all about music production. Here you will find tutorials on the most important DAWs or music programs, the most important plugins and I'll show you how to produce the current sound of the charts and the clubs. If you have any questions about this video or more generally about music production, just write me in the comments. I'll answer all your questions. Of course, I'm also happy about the simple feedback or suggestion for another video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any of my videos. At this point, I say thank you for being there. Always stay creative. Cheers!